Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today is the February installment of the Pinspiration Collaboration that is hosted by Creations by Kimber. I will put the link for her channel as well as all the other crafty ladies in the description box below. I will also put my Pinterest pin that I was inspired by to do these two really cute unicorn uh, party, I guess, um, or swap ideas. So I made this really cute gable box. It's a little treat box. And then this is the card. So I'm doing a unicorn swap. Um, so this is going out as Happy Meal, but it certainly can be used as like an invitation or a thank you card or just a birthday card sent to uh, someone that is having a unicorn party and then these can be the little treat boxes so this is what I made go ahead and stick around if you'd like to see how I made them I put the links down below for both the template for the gable box and the pin that I was inspired by that the pin that I saw it made into a unicorn does not have a template so I found a gable box template and then this actually has the pin that I was inspired by was actually had the template that you can print out. So these projects you can totally do if you do not have a Cricut or a like a gable box die. And they're super easy um, as far as embellishing because you can use paper flowers that you already have made or you can cut out your own flowers. So stick around, see what we need for these projects and we'll learn how to make super cute unicorn party supplies. For the gable box, I have cut out my template. You will need a piece of white cardstock, pink cardstock, and gold or yellow, some tacky glue, a sharpie, a pencil, some scissors, little tiny rhinestones, a handful of paper flowers, and then some ribbon. So let's get this stuff cleared off and we will get started. First thing you're going to do is take your template and trace it twice onto the white cardstock and go ahead and cut both pieces out. The next thing you're going to do is fold on all of the solid lines. First we're going to fold it, fold these two lines here. And fold the little flap. And I'll go ahead and do it on this piece. And then I'm going to fold these here. If you want to use a scoring tool and score those, you can. I'm just free freehanding this one. And definitely if you are making a bunch of these, maybe for a unicorn party or a little treat for you know, a classroom or something like that, and you have a Cricut, I would definitely scan this in to Cricut Design Space and cut them out that way, and it'll be a lot quicker. And then we're gonna go ahead and fold in this flap here on both sides.
And then this flap will go ahead and fold in as well on the inside. Or to the inside, I should say. And then our last fold is the handle and we're going to be folding it to the outside of the box. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is attach the two pieces together and we're going to put some glue on this little small flap. So we're going to glue this piece to the smaller section here on the inside. If you want to use a tape runner you can. I'm just a tacky glue girl so that's what I always use. And then put some glue on the other little tiny flap there. Make sure that these smaller, like the middle size sections of flaps are going underneath these bigger flaps here when you put this together. If you know what I mean like that. So you will then put your glue or attach that little tiny flap to the other, other side there. And if you want to reach in here and hold it together, you can. Just like that. And then put your smaller flaps in. And you're going to glue those two flaps together down here. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here and here and then do that on this side. Spread it around. And I'm going to open up this top part here. Put it down and press it down at the bottom there. Just like that. And if you wanted to see like I didn't get this cut quite straight so it's not quite meeting there. So I may go in and add a piece of paper, even decorative paper on the bottom to make that so there isn't a hole there. And I could actually add in on the inside as well. And then the tops just fit together in your little slat on the sides there.
just like that. So you have the base of your little box done and to know approximate size here this is about four inches and that's about a little over two so about a two by four this it's probably about two and a half by four so the next thing you will want to do is take some of your scraps of your white cardstock and I'm just going to freehand some little ears but you can draw here just draw a couple small ears your unicorn. I'd say these are probably about one inch by three quarters inch. Cut, you just want to put a little bit of glue on the back towards the bottom of the ear and stick that right on the side near the top edge and I'd say they're about half of an inch in from the side of the box and I'm going to cut two little triangles to go on the insides of the ears so I'm just gonna cut a little piece off here With the centers glued down to your ears, next you're going to cut a small horn from the gold and I'm cutting it approximately three inches tall or about two and a half inches and then about three quarter inches at the bottom. Just like that. And then I'm going to put some glue along the bottom edge of that and glue it right here in the center in between the ears. Now taking the flowers, I'm going to go ahead and layer them up on here, just varying the colors. that and now I'm going to put the little rhinestones down in the centers Last thing to do is to add the little eyelashes, or they look, they look like closed eyes with eyelashes. So I'm just going to pencil them in.
and then go over it with my Sharpie. Just like that, super cute. The last thing you want to do is add a ribbon at the top and it will be done. Super adorable, just great for um, just a little gift or if you have um, are having a unicorn party, so cute. For the unicorn card, you will want to print out first two pieces of the template, which is the head and the muzzle horn inside of the ears and the outside of the ears. That's like pages one and two. You'll need one piece of white cardstock, a piece of pink cardstock, a piece of gold or yellow cardstock for the horn. I don't need that for that for right now. Some tacky glue, scissors to cut out some paper flowers, and something for the center of your flowers. I have the iridescent rhinestones here. So let's get the stuff cleared off and we will get started. For the unicorn card, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and cut out all your template pieces. Take and fold your white cardstock. This is eight and a half by eleven. And you're going to draw, put this uh, smooth edge or the straight edge of your template onto the folded edge of your card and trace around that. and then you're gonna go ahead and cut it out. Go ahead and trace two of the bigger ears onto the white. two of the smaller ears on your pink cardstock and cut those out. Now you're going to glue your pink smaller ear parts onto the center of the bigger white ones. Taking the horn piece, you're going to trace and cut this piece out of the gold. I'm on the back side here. Take the muzzle piece, this oval, and trace it onto your pink and cut that out. With 
everything cut out, we're going to assemble our card. Gather your supplies here. You're going to need the glue again and rhinestones, my flowers. This time I have these pretty kind of purpley blue and mauvey pink. So the first thing you want to do is take your glue and add a little bit of glue towards the bottom of those ears and you're going to glue those on the back of the card here. that the muzzle you're going to glue at the bottom and then the horn you're going to glue towards the top in the center there and then you're going to arrange your flowers the way that you want them all along the top of the horn covering up the bottom of the horn going to add some rhinestones to the centers, so I'm going to add a dab of glue to each spot there. The thing you want to do is add in the, eye, the eyelid eyelash parts here. Do a simple little swoop with some eyelashes and I'll come back with my Sharpie and then down here just add a couple little nose nostril marks there and make that one a little bit smaller. My Sharpies, go ahead and add these. All right, super cute. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye, God bless.